Okay, let's do a review on my medical emergency field kit. I got a number of private messages about what's in the red bag that I have. And um, as you may recall, that's where I pulled out my level one first aid kit. The other contents in this red bag are my medical emergency field management kit, which I'm going to review today. I also have extra gloves and a blister foot care kit, which I can review in a uh, future video. Now all of these things fit in this red bag and the entire contents weighs less than a pound and a half. We're going to focus today on reviewing the medical emergency field management kit. Now this kit allows you to deal with medical emergencies in the field. It weighs less than a pound and a half at 7.25 ounces. There you go, 7.25 ounces. Okay, I'm going to use the review system that Nut and Fancy uses because I think it's a great system and it's a nice way to stay on task with any of these reviews. Philosophy of use for this kit. This kit provides the basic or very minimum kit and pharmacy to deal with wilderness medical emergencies. The issues that we're trying to deal with here are asthma, allergy, severe allergic reaction, diabetes, quote, not breathing, and chest pain. Certainly a concern for chest pain as possible heart-related chest pain. Now this kit will augment and supplement your level one, level two kit. I have this one wrapped in a uh, bag that's been heat sealed, mainly because I don't go into this except if in an emergency, so I just keep it totally sealed. It is also contained inside a Mylar Ziploc bag that measures six by nine inches. Let's go over the contents of the kit. Most of my kits I like to keep a label in the front so I know what the kit is and what the contents are. That way it's quick and easy to identify and if someone needs to go get that kit for me or to help me, they'll know what kit it is and what's in it. I like these particular bags because they open on the side which gives you sort of wallet access. Right on the top is a nasal pharyngeal airway or nasal trumpet with a uh, pack of lube. In this container, which is a spacer for an albuterol inhaler, is a medication pack. So there's glucose tablets to deal with diabetic emergencies, primarily someone who has too low of a blood sugar. And then there's a med pack, which we will go over at the end. And then this is the spacer that goes with an albuterol container and a dispenser. That sits on the end of this spacer like that. You shake it up two puffs. The patient breathes from this end. Anybody that's having an asthma attack and doesn't have their medications or ran out of medications will be glad that you have this with you, albuterol. The next thing is a CPR kit, which we'll also go over at the end. An EpiPen. And of course, the carrying bag is a 6x9 Mylar bag. And a waterproof label. Let's quickly go over this waterproof label. I like to use um, waterproof inkjet paper for my labels, and you can get this at REI. The brand I use is National Geographic Adventure Paper. I've got a label that's been sitting in a container of water for 24 hours. I thought that that would be proof perfect for you guys to see that uh, these labels 
are completely waterproof with this paper, which may seem a little overkill, doesn't smear. The nice thing about this is when you're out in the field, you have to always prepare for the worst conditions. And one of the worst conditions for most equipment and gear is wet weather. This label is completely waterproof. If I need to quickly look inside a bag and know what's in it, the ink won't have run. I'll be able to read what it is. It's durable. And if you're using this stuff, um, which is medically related, and it's an emergency, you don't want to be dealing with a smeared label. So these waterproof labels are the way to go. Let's go over the medical emergencies that this kit is designed to handle. So just to recap, asthma, an allergic reaction or a severe allergic reaction, low blood sugar, not breathing, and chest pain. If you have a person on your, in your group that has diabetes and um, there's a reason to think that their blood sugar is too low, this is how you want to manage this. And basically these are glucose tablets. This pack has three of them in it. And you only use this for a patient that is awake and can put something in their mouth, obviously. And a diabetic patient will know if their blood sugar is low, but if they're having trouble, this is what you want to grab out of your pack. One to three of these in their mouth, let them dissolve. This will get their sugar back up to a normal level. Let's go through the medication pack. Again, this is in a this is in a three by three. You could also use a three by five Ziploc bag. We have a label that lets you know what's in the kit: aspirin, prednisone, Benadryl, Pepsid. Let's, let's cover allergies next. We're going to cover an allergic reaction and a severe allergic reaction. Those medicines are in this medication pack. This is in a 3x3 or 3x5 if you want. Ziploc bag. There's a label so you know what's in it. And the medicines are in individual bags to make them easy to grab. So let's talk about allergic reaction. If someone's having an allergic reaction, the medicine that you want to use is uh, Benadryl or diphenhydramine. 25 milligrams, one every um, uh, six to eight hours. You can have up to two every six to eight hours. And the a good thing to use along with that is uh, Pepsid or Zantac. Um, in my kit I use famotidine or Pepsid, but you can also use uh, ranitidine or Zantac. And these two medicines provide H1, H2 blockade for an allergic reaction. The next medicine to use in conjunction with that is going to be a steroid. Um, the best and easy to use steroid is going to be a 50 milligram tablet of uh, prednisone. So the three of those are how you're going to manage an allergic reaction and you would continue treating that person for three days. You would take prednisone once a day, you would take Zantac or Pepsid twice a day, once in the morning, once at night, and you would take the Benadryl one to two tablets every six to eight hours. And remember, Benadryl can make that person sleepy, so be on guard for that. 